Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we're here with Petra. But something's not quite right. As you can see here, we're in Lost River. And that's because Petra here has found herself in a bit of a bind. You see, after her last litter, things went pretty well. Summer came and went, as did autumn, and winter started to deepen. In fact, as it did, it got stormy. Blizzards started to blow up in Yellowstone, and in, during one of those blizzards, Petra found herself separated from Charon and the rest of her pack. She managed to survive the blizzard, but... When she did, she had no idea where she was, and fortunately, she has found herself in an area that's experiencing an unseasonably warm winter. The snow here hasn't deepened quite yet. But Petra's in some trouble. She's gonna have pups again in the spring, and if she doesn't find some help, there's a good chance they're not going to survive. She certainly hasn't given up on finding Charon, but right now, she's realizing she has to make preparations to hunker down from the year until her pups are old enough to move with her. And then she can set out again, try to find him. So, Petra's here in the world of Lost River not really liking these coyotes, but knowing she is going to have to find someone with which to forge a temporary alliance, at least until her pups are grown enough for them to be able to go with her as she searches for her mate and the rest of her pack. And that's where we find her now, roaming the wilds here of a strange and unfamiliar land. She's just not quite sure how strange it's going to be just yet. We probably know by now if you guys have been watching Crow's story or playing the DLC for yourself. And by the way, if you do want to play this DLC for yourself, there's a link to it in the video description where you can get it on Steam. I would highly recommend it. There is so much to see in this map. It is incredible. It's not just a reskinned Yellowstone, that's for sure. Uh, and in fact, you might find this this house here a little bit familiar. Certainly, Petra's never seen it, but uh, there's a familiar little shed just down the hill. Petra's not going to stop here, though. She doesn't smell anyone else, I don't think. Nope. Only the sense of bison, which is not going to be much help to her. So I think we'll let her continue following this road and keep sniffing around in hopes that she'll find someone who might be able to help her. There are dispersals around here, it seems. Renegade wolves. And I think I saw Calamity wolves as well. Yes, male dispersal from the Calamity pack. Maybe one of them could help her? She's looking for someone, and... That might prove challenging to find around here, especially considering that she's not really- Oh, those are lucky wolves. She's not really looking for a mate, per se. I think these are tracks. Renegade dispersals. I don't think she wants to risk venturing into pack territory right now, but... We've got a little bit of wiggle room. Maybe we'll try and follow this trail and hope it doesn't just disappear straight into danger. This trail seems to just be skirting the edge of the territory here. As if these wolves have been going back and forth. Yeah, look at this. They're kind of weaving around over here. Just staying out of reach of Lucky Pack, but apparently... Seeing how close they can get- oh, this is now the Calamity Dispersals. Oh, I guess the sense converged. Are we gonna def are we gonna find a Dispersal up here? We might. Or we- oh, I guess we are. 
Right at the edge of pack territory. Who's this? You're a curious sort. Two years old from the Calamity Pack. Are you friendly? Uh, let's avert gaze. Petra really can't afford to be her typical sassy self right now. She's normally pretty confident, but... She's not in any condition to be picking fights she can't win, so we'll roll. Show that we don't mean any trouble. This is a bit of a curious looking wolf here. He smells a little strange to Petra. Not quite like the wolves she's used to. Oh, and it seems like we have convinced him to get to know us better. Oh, goodness, he is, uh, he's very, <laughs> very excitable. He's run right up to us. You're certainly an interesting one. He does have an interesting collar as well. Curious. I don't think she's entirely sure what to make of him, but he seems amiable enough. He looks like he was, uh, sniffing about at the borders of Lucky Territory here. I wonder if he was scrounging around for scraps. He is by himself. Maybe that means that, uh, these two might get along. After all, if he's off on his own, he doesn't have any brothers to take care of him, it would seem. Maybe these two could form an alliance for the year, work together to survive. And the next year, he could venture off again, try to find a mate of, her, of his own when she leaves. Maybe? What do you think about that, bud? Think we can make that work? Aww. I, I think he's considering it. He's kind of a kind of a scratched up fella too. Look at he's got a, a torn ear there. Well, I guess he's down for the idea. Oh, that's a very confident tale. Alright, strange wolf, who I don't know much about. I guess we can figure this out. This was a lot <laughs> simpler than Petra was expecting it to be, that's for sure. Calamity 22M. We can actually see his stats and coat and stuff now, too, if we look in our menu here. Uh, you can see strength minus one. He's got a lot of stamina, but not a lot of health. Uh, the Grizzer coat, which is gray, two star diversity. All right. I suppose we'll note down his designation here. And, uh,. We'll give these guys the chance to try some hunting. They've got to be sure that this alliance is even going to work out, after all. Well, this certainly isn't anything like Yellowstone. I'm not sure how many man-made structures Petra has ever seen, but it's not a whole lot. I think she can sense that it's not quite natural, but... It seems like it's still stable enough. He's still following her. She wasn't keen to keep hanging around in a lucky territory over there. Uh, she doesn't want to risk tangling with another pack wolf. He might have been scavenging off of their scraps, but Petra is aware of how vulnerable she is. And by the look of it, this one's actually kind of taken a beating. I just noticed how, uh, how low his health is. Uh, something tells me that his scavenging may not have gone according to plan, Mr. 52% health. Not that Petra's very sure of this area either, but I think Calamity is assuring her that it's just fine. This place doesn't have anything too strange about it. It's perfectly normal for where he's from. Even if it's quite the oddity compared to what Petra's used to. 
can scrounge around here, perhaps. There's a hare. We should probably be taking advantage of anything we can find eat. Yes, there we go. Uh, we're not that hungry. I suppose maybe if you want this, you can have it. You look a bit the worse for wear. See, that's a little bit better than scavenging off of stranger wolves. Does he even know how to hunt properly? <laughs> He, he seems like he's been having a rough time of it on his own. He is also pretty young, too. We noticed that he's two years, so... Maybe he's just a bit new to this world and to being out by himself. There's another hare here. And we can't keep scavenging off of these guys forever. It'll help stave off the hunger if need be in a pinch. But Petra knows they're gonna need to find some real food. She She's not certain- oh, I think I see some. She's not quite sure if she necessarily trusts his definition of food, considering it seems to have gotten him rather beaten up by the Luckies, presumably. But he seems to have a few interesting ideas of his own. But Petra's a pretty experienced hunter, so maybe with his help this will work out? Maybe she can teach him the ropes, and there's a- Coyote just absolutely contemplating that pole there. <laughs> Sniffing the taco bean. <laughs> the taco bean uh, sign there. Oh, here's here's a younger elk. Okay, this will be fine, I think. Can get a good little nibble. He's certainly eager enough. He's just taking, ouch, small little bites. Oh, he's getting the hang of it. There you go, bud. That's not too bad. Oh, ouch. That's not good for us, though. We keep getting caught. He, he is running circles. <laughs> to be fair, sorry. Oh, buddy, buddy, watch out. He's gotten, already gotten kicked to the face a few times, I think. All right, if we sneak a few bites there. Yeah, that's right. You got to wait for her to be distracted and then sneak in. Oh, if we can catch it around the corner, too. We can maybe use the buildings to our advantage or perhaps not so much. Oh, you got to watch out. Nope. <laughs> You're going to get attacked. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh, he took a hoof to the back. That did not look comfortable. I, I'm not too sure. This is this is more responsibility than Petra's used to. I mean, she would have been trying to teach her own pups around now. This guy's at least a little bit older, although he, he keeps uh he keeps taking direct hits from this elk. He's very exuberant. You good, bud? <laughs> oh, he's actually managing it. Hey! That wasn't too bad. All right, all right. Uh, I think maybe this will work out after all. Petra's beginning to feel a bit more optimistic. I mean, he's very young. He, he doesn't seem too experienced with hunting, but he's getting the hang of it. Maybe she can teach him a few things, and as long as he's not bad with the pups, they could find a way to make this work out. Uh-oh. That's trouble right there. That's a problem. This guy's decided, oh... Did you eat? get enough to eat? Uh... I'm not sure we're gonna want- nope, yeah, let's not tangle with this cougar. Buddy, yeah, uh, that's not a fight that's worth picking. Is he full? He's got 100%. Yeah, at this point, we don't need to be picking any fights that we don't have to. We're really not in Yellowstone anymore, are we? This certainly isn't the world that Petra's used to, and to be honest, I think she still feels safer farther away from the strange human environment here. But maybe it's a world she could get used to, at least for the time being. I think she's gonna find somewhere a little bit more wild to settle down for the night, but hey... She made a friend, and it seems like both of them will benefit from this partnership. 
Maybe she can teach Calamity a few things about being a wolf. He certainly seems like he could use a lesson or two. It's hard to say exactly what his story was. His scent is a little bit odd to her. Not quite like any other wolf she's ever scented, but... Whatever the case may be, he seems friendly enough. But a little bit hyperactive, perhaps. <laughs> And if he's gonna need help surviving this year, too, then I think they can make this work. As winter deepened, the two grew closer, and Petra came to learn more about the youngster. She learned that his name was Loki, or at least that's what the other packs had dubbed him, thanks to his thieving and rather cunning ways. He was even younger than she had realized, coming up upon his second birthday in the springtime. Not even a full two years old, but he had managed to survive even after losing his birth pack. Unfortunately, he told her they had been attacked by another one of the local packs, and he had managed to survive on his own. In fact, that was exactly where he led her to his old home. He promised there would be an easy source of food there, at least in the earlier parts of the year, and that hunting wouldn't be hard. That was how he managed to survive, at least, but when the easy prey grew older, it became too difficult, forcing him to resort to scavenging and leave his old home in search of somewhere that food might be more plentiful. It seemed to be a promising partnership, though, between the two of them, with Petra's greater experience and Loki's knowledge of the area, it seemed like they'd be able to get by. At least... if the recklessness of youth didn't get the better of him. Eventually, weaving their way between hills and valleys, they finally found it the place that Loki himself had once called home. It was... undoubtedly strange, to say the least. It reminded Petra of the other town they had crossed through, not that she would have known what to call it. Older. Quieter. Still a little uneasy. But, Loki seemed certain it was fine. And so, at his urging, she made her way through town to an old overturned wagon. This, he said, was where he had lived, and investigating it, it did seem enough of a safe haven for her to raise her pups. So, Petra laid claim to it, hoping that the yearling was right. Finally, after a long, dark season, winter turned to spring, and the duo returned to the old wagon because the time had come for Petra's pups to be born. We're gonna go ahead, we will choose this, it is an open den, but it's where Loki stayed, so surely it'll be good enough for us, right? I guess we'll just call it Wagon Wheels. And... It's time to meet Petra's pups. Oh, and it looks like there are five of them, and we actually got an achievement for that. So, there's... I think it looks like three girls and two boys. We'll have to re-give re them their designations because, of course, the, this is not Petra's first litter. But first of all, let's go ahead and see what they look like. Here they come. There's Loki. <laughs> he must have gotten curious about them and gone in to, to see what they look like. Oh, we have... They've, a lot of them look like Petra. They've got that really red tint. A little bit, a little bit of a lighter tint there. Oh, a lot of them really took after their mom. No, no black puppies this time around. But, uh, oh, they're so sweet. 
And it looks like they've already taken his shine to Loki, too. He's pretty young. I don't know if he had any siblings or not, I wonder. But we may as well feed these guys. He seems like he's doing all right with them. Maybe, maybe he'll be a... Maybe maybe he'll be a pretty pretty good playful older big brother for them. <laughs> he certainly seems to be getting along with them. Oh, look at him rolling around. He definitely does seem to be a sweet wolf. Petra has noticed, uh, if a little bit inexperienced. This would be his second birthday, so he's only about a year older than her own pups. Well, not these pups, but the pups that are back with Charon right now. And of course, two years than, than these pups. Petra herself is four now. 2F is vanishing. 2F, what are you doing? You're, you're not technically 2F. I'll update them in a, a little bit. I think this would be 5F, technically. But oh my goodness. Petra may have her paws full. There goes, there goes another puppy. <laughs> uh, she's definitely thankful to have Loki to help though. And she's talked to him a little bit. He said that the best time to hunt is actually going to be at night, which she finds a little bit odd, but he did survive here as a yearling, so she supposes he probably knows what he's talking about, right? So we're gonna go ahead, we'll take care of these guys, we'll rename them. Goodness gracious, they're all very red. <laughs> they're all some level of brown to red and it's very funny. Uh, we'll spend the day with them, get them redesignated. We'll be naming them in a few episodes when we've had the chance to observe their personalities. Uh, but because this is all pre-recorded, I've been pretty busy over the holidays. Uh, these names are actually not from the comments like they usually are for this series. They're actually drawn from my supporter Discord, which is open to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon through Twitter subs or through YouTube channel memberships. Uh, so they have named this litter of pups and uh, I'd like to thank them for the names that uh, we'll be choosing for these guys in a couple of episodes. We'll give it a little bit of time to let personalities shine through. We'll go ahead, let these guys rest through the afternoon and see what it is that Loki wants to show us come nightfall. All right, night has fallen. Let's go ahead, we'll send these guys in the den. Doesn't seem like anything's attacking us early, but... Loki... What, what exactly was it you wanted us to see? Oh. Well... This is interesting. Petra's not too sure what to make of it. Loki's play bowing, though. He he seems to be trying to encourage her, although the scents here are very odd. And what is this thing? I don't know that Petra's ever seen a fence in her life apart from wandering around elsewhere in Lost River. It 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 definitely looks too tall to jump. I don't think Petra remembers the days very well when there used to be a cattle ranch closer to Slough Creek. Certainly Cassia, her cousin, probably does. It was her father who had a bit of a run in there. But Petra's a little bit new to this game. She's kind of following Loki's guidance here. Don't see a way through, though. We might have to do a bit more sniffing around. Some peculiar scents coming from that direction. Almost reminiscent of bison, but not quite. Loki says that that's what he's been hunting. They just have to find a way to get in and reach them. Oh. This doesn't look quite so impenetrable. Yeah, Loki's dove right in there. Well, let's make sure we mark our exit here. Petra wants to be well aware of how to get out. After all, this fence kept them outside of it before. She's not keen on the idea of it keeping them in. Where were those scents coming from? We smelled them over here. Get a drink while we're at it. Oh, 
This way, I think. Somewhere over here? Yes, it would seem so. Oh! Something odd on that hill. Strange and smelly, and a little bit intimidating looking. Buddy, are you sure about this? That thing looks big. Oh, there's more of them here. Oh, I don't like this. I can't see too well. That's smaller, though. A calf. Well, no time to waste. Let's try to take this thing down. Oh, Loki wasn't wrong. That did not take much. Okay, I gotta hand it to you. I, I see, and I think I'm stopping you from eating. I see why you like this place. I can... I'm beginning to understand how Loki managed to survive all this time on his own, despite being so young. I suppose let's head back, though. Don't fancy tangling with the rest of those things. And we've got pups to feed. Oh, we actually got an achievement for that. Ranch Bandit. Kill a domestic cat at the ranch. And escape with your wife. So there is a bit of a caveat to this that I'm not sure if Petra is aware of. Our, our, our dear Loki here may have understated the dangers. But for this time at least, Petra's gotten off scot-free with a good amount of food to bring back to her pups. And I think this is where we're going to go ahead and leave it. So I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of a different series here. I know this is probably not what you were expecting from Petra's run, but I hope you guys are enjoying it nonetheless. We'll have to learn more about our dear Loki and his secrets. And Petra's certainly keen as her pups grow to see if she can find a way back home. She certainly misses Charon and her older pups, too. But she's a long ways off, and these pups certainly are not ready to travel that far. So for now, we're going to have to content ourselves with staying put and rounding up these chaotic pups. Oh my goodness, they're scattering in all directions. <laughs> oh! Petra certainly has her paws full now. But with that, we're going to go ahead and leave this off here for today. Although before we do, I did want to note that if you have been watching these stickers that we have been releasing lately, we actually have one for Petra now, as well as one for Crow and one for Aiden of the Wayfinders pack. If you guys like those characters too, those are now available on Kofi, along with glossy variants of most of the other stickers that we have. However, if you order these in December, I'm not going to be able to ship them out. December is going to be pretty crazy over the holidays, so they will ship in early. Early January but if you don't mind the wait those are available already so uh, if you want to check those out there's a link in the video description as there is if you're interested in checking out the Lost River DLC for yourself and again I highly recommend that you do because we're gonna be taking a, a look at a lot of different parts of it throughout our different playthroughs but there is so much more than we are ever gonna be able to explore even if we keep playing it there's so many Easter eggs and there's so much lore that you just really don't get the chance to look at in a video like this so if you're interested in it, there is a preview so that you can check if it runs on your computer, if you think you might be interested, provided that you own the base game. And uh, if you want to get the full version of it, there's a link to the DLC in the video description. But with that, we'll go ahead and leave this off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.